We finally made it into the town of Chester and all the accommodations in the entire town are booked. Uh, I think for 4th of July weekend, which is in a couple days. But this Lutheran church behind us uh, has free camping for PCT hikers. They even have a nice sign to welcome us. So we can camp in their backyard tonight. And then there's a laundromat and public showers across the street that we can use in the morning before we head back and hit the trail. All right, our clothes are clean and we're all showered up and ready to hitch back to the PCT. So yeah, I know about PCH. Never done it. I know this one guy, he's 70 some years old. Back on the PCT. So it was just, I think two days ago that we entered the Cascade Mountain Range which is a volcanic mountain range. And we had spent the past, I don't know, month or two in the Sierra mountain range, which was metamorphic. And we're approaching our first great volcano on the PCT, which is Lassen Peak. You can see the steam from a geyser across the way. Entering Lassen Volcanic National Park. There's a tiny little Bambi curl up in a little deer nest right there. We're at Terminal Geyser. Just a volcanic steam vent. This is what we saw from the ridge across the valley last night. Even the outlet sulfur spring is steaming. This whole national park smells like rotten eggs. Here's the boiling sulfur lake. There's Lassen Peak. Bye bye Lassen Volcanic National Park. So we're pushing 31.5 miles today to get to Old Station, which is a really small town with a literal gas station that lets us camp behind there. And the gas station is literally on the trail. Uh, they'll be closed when we get there, but we can get iced coffee and breakfast up in the morning before we continue north. Well, I made it to Old Station Phillip Gas Station, and now I get to camp <laughs> behind the building and wait for them to open in the morning.
The gas station's open and we finally got our goods now. <laughs> See ya, old station. We're heading down into Subway Cave, which is a lava tube. So we're inside Subway Cave, which is an old lava tube. So back in the day, hot molten rock was flowing through here before the uh, outside crust cooled, hardened, and the lava drained. And we were left with this massive subway tunnel underground. We're climbing up onto Hat Creek Rim, which is a notoriously hot and dry stretch in NorCal where water is spaced every like 15 miles or so and some of those are water caches that we have to rely on as well. Goodbye Lassen. And hello Shasta, our second massive volcano on the PCT. And here's Hat Creek Rim. So we're gonna follow this escarpment north all the way overlooking Hat Creek Valley and Mount Shasta in the distance. I feel like we're back in the desert with this sand and dust tan line. So it turns out our friend can swim. So we're on a 22 mile dry stretch up here on Hat Creek Rim, but uh, a nice local trail angel keeps this water tank full for PCT hikers about halfway through that. Fourteen hundred miles. We're down off Hat Creek Rim now, into the Hat Creek Valley, and heading towards the small town of Bernie for lunch and a resupply. We're walking through a PG&E hydroelectric plant.
All right, I'm at Bernie Mountain Guest Ranch, and we're gonna stop for a long lunch today, hang out here, charge our stuff, resupply, maybe go swimming, they have a pool, and then later this afternoon, we're gonna head back to the trail, continue north towards Shasta.